हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम द चैप्टर नंबर सिस्टम एंड द टॉपिक इज कन्वर्सन ऑफ अ प्योर रेकरिंग डेसिमल नंबर इन द फॉर्म पी बाई क्यू ना हेयर आई विल बी यूजिंग वेरी शॉर्ट ट्रिक हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ सम विदाउट फॉलोइंग द लेंदी मेथड सो इट्स माई एडवाइज टू ऑल ऑफ यू टू बी विथ मी टिल द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो सो दैट यू कैन लर्न द मैजिकल ट्रिक्स for solving this type of recurring decimal numbers within seconds before i start the chapter let me explain what is the meaning of recurring decimal well recurring decimal means the decimal numbers which are reoccurring for example if it is written 0.3 bar it means after decimal point 3 will go on repeating till infinity Now suppose if I divide, suppose if I take a fraction one by three, and divide this one by three, see for decimal I am getting here zero. Now three into three is nine. After subtraction I get one. Then again for decimal I get zero. Then again three into three is nine. So this division process is not going to end, and it will continue like this. Now if I consider Question number A. It is given zero point three bar. Now the trick is that whatever number is given, you write down zero three. Excluding the decimal, you write whatever the number is given, and then underline it. In the denominator part, you will see that. on how many digits there is bar on single digit there is bar so you will write here 19 for example if it was 0.27 and on 27 there is bar i would have written 027 by now since two digits that is 2 and 7 on its head there is bar so here i will write 2 times 9 If I consider question number B, it is given 2.35 bar. First, you write down all the digits, then subtract the number which do not have bar, that is 2. By now, how many digits have got bar? After decimal, two digits. So here you will write. Two nine. So answer is two hundred thirty three by ninety nine. So here I am able to express it in the form of p by q. It means two point three five bar is two thirty three by ninety. Now in question number C, what we find after decimal there is a number that has no bar. In that case, there is special trick. First, you write all the digits. That is one five seven one two. Then again, give minus sign. Now you see that before the digits where bar is starting, that is before one two, there is one hundred fifty seven. That on the digits one, five, and seven there is no bar, so you will subtract one five seven from this whole number. Now on how many digits there is bar? Two digits, so you will write here two times nine. Now after decimal, how many digits have no bar? That is seven. It means one digit, so you will write here single digit. On solving, you get. One five 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 by nine nine zero. If I take one more example, four point one three seven two, and if I give a bar on two, then we'll write four one three seven two. 
minus see before the number before the digits where the bar starts what is the number 4137 so i will subtract 4137 by now how many digits have got bar single digit that is 2 so i will write here only 1 times 9 now after decimal how many digits have got no bar there is 3 digits that is 1 3 and 7 so i will put here 3 zeros on simplification you get 37235 by 9000 i hope you are able to understand what i have taught you if you are visiting the channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get all my upcoming videos notification at the earliest. Well, I will meet you in the next class from this chapter with new topic. Till then, goodbye.